Hello and welcome to I forgot already chapter 5 of season 2 or chapter 20 we still haven't resolved that dilemma and yes this one is going to be called sleep deprivation guess what it is about a sleep deprivation and guess what else I am deprived of sleep I haven't slept for a long time let me tell it this way i woke up at wednesday around um, 8 p.m i didn't sleep throughout the night until 4 p.m of thursday i slept for two hours at 6 p.m i was awoken by, i was awakened by a phone call and I needed to be somewhere, so you know it, it was expected. I asked my uh, father to call and, uh, well, awake me in case my own alarm doesn't want to. And uh, well, I got up and I left house at around 7:30 p.m. I went somewhere uh, to watch a movie for the premiere of a short movie I was in, and what I imagined to be like two hour thing uh, it actually spiraled into something more there were a lot of people not good for corona so yeah if if the next chapter isn't called i got coronavirus it means i got very lucky yes and i hate myself for that because i i, I just hate i do <laughs> so uh there were a lot of people not ideal. Uh, there were food, which we ate, and uh, then we watched the movie, which was like 11 minutes. <laughs> After that, it was a night of games, you know. We played uh, that, you know, Mafia, if you know what that is. It's, if I know correctly, and I might not, it's similar of, it is the game Werewolf, in uh, English speaking uh, countries, at least in um, American stuff that I've seen. And then we played a board game called uh, Coup d'etat, in which I destroyed, not to toot my own horn, I really, really, I was really good. <laughs> Uh, and the reason was that I didn't care. There were people saying, you know, a good strategy for this game is that for, uh, you, sh you need to do this and then do that and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 no you don't understand. I don't have a strategy. <laughs> I just want to go home and sleep. So I was just this agent of chaos. And I got home around 6 a.m. Uh, I uh, talked to a friend uh, and... Uh, did uh, some more stuff. I, I'm not going to tell you what, but then, uh, yeah, it's around 9, 14 a.m. and I'm recording this. So, yeah, I am deprived of sleep in a fairly, uh, fairly uh, aggressive way. Yes, I realized what I was going to say. So this is going to be a bit weird, if you, excuse me. Oh, by the way, the drink today. Oh yes, it's not nothing. It's nothing special. It's just Coke Zero. I have a bottle. I was supposed to finish this yesterday, but well, I was out of the house. So yeah, I have half a bottle of Coke Zero that I'm going to drink some. Actually, I'm kind of parched. Oh yeah. Now, for me, a sleep deprivation isn't something new. I've had big, big manic episodes of a sleep deprivation. Um, when I'm working on a project, it's more than likely that I, I'm not sleeping right, I'm not eating right, I am actively destroying my body. But, you know, then there's other times when there is no project, and I still do those, so... Oh, sorry. Did not expect that birth to come, but yeah. Um, 
what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I slipped the probation. And um, it, it's just, I get into these manic episodes. At, at some point, I think my brain just doesn't want to even sleep. <laughs> it just says, well, let's see how far I can take you. Hey, have you contacted that old uh, crush of yours that you haven't talked in like two years? No, I haven't. You should. And, you know, at that point, my logical brain is like, yeah, why not? <laughs> so <laughs> things get things get a bit out of hand. I've done stuff that I'm not proud of. Not not illegal or stuff like that. Let me give you an example. I have messaged uh, people who I had no intention of talking to. I have left voice messages, long voice messages, not as long as this one. I guess I am doing that again. But I would leave long, incoherent voice messages about movies and musicals and all of that to one of my friends. And um, I would forget about it. <laughs> you know, I wake up and I see these manic reactions and, oh, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't drink alcohol, by the way. I think I've said it before. I can't drink alcohol. My body literally rejects it. I throw up immediately after I drink it so yeah these are my blackouts these are my alcoholic blackouts <laughs> blackouts I do have a tendency to mumble words I think I am trying to work on it and enunciate better but uh, cut me some slacks I haven't slept in so long and I am tired and the only reason I am actually recording this right now instead of just doing it later in the day is the fact that I think it's a good subject, a sleep deprivation, and it's manic, and who knows, maybe it's, it'll be fun, maybe it'll be the one who people actually want to listen to. <laughs> I know not, not a lot of people do want to listen to a guy rambling on the internet, I mean, not this guy in particular, I mean, God... I just realized I made myself a bit depressed knowing that um, not, nothing I do online may one day uh, amount to half of what Jake Paul has, which is sad, which is very sad. I think I'm more intelligent than he is. Anyways. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I, I I will try to listen to this one at a later date, and then there will be an episode saying deciphering sleep deprivation. But at the moment, I just don't remember. And I don't care. No, nobody cares. Nothing matters. <laughs> Nothing really matters. Did I sing that right? I know it's a Metallica song, but I... For the love of me, I can't remember the melody. And th that one and one, the Metallica song. And it's it's fucking driving me nuts. I have this thing that I need to remember this stuff for some reason. But, you know. Um, and, you know, it makes me kind of mad at myself because i actually do like nothing really matters and i do like one uh but i don't remember the melody and all of that yet uh, some songs that i don't like are stuck there you know dr jones jones calling dr jones dr jones dr jones wake up now I did a did a and i did a i did a did a and i <laughs> this is this is maddening. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, oh, I should tell you about this. This is my plan for today. I, I haven't set down a time yet, so I doubt it'll be at noon. It'll probably be at around six or seven p.m. I'm going to. I'm recording this on December twenty fifth. You know, it's Christmas and all that. I don't celebrate Christmas, but I do have a yearly tradition, and it's watching the movie It's a Wonderful Life. 
Now, um, I have done it a long time and uh, I actually do love that movie. It's the movie that makes me cry and for this year, being 2020 and all of that and me uh, trying and failing miserably at gathering a social circle online. I have a social uh, line because it's two people. I don't have a circle. So I thought I'd do it on Discord. You know, I uh, play the movie, streaming it, and we'll just riff on it and talk over it and talk about it. It's a good movie. It's an older movie, so not a lot of people will probably care as much. But it's also very quiet. It's not those big action movies that you can't hear your voice over it. It's, I think it's a good experience overall. And, uh, yeah. By the way, I watched that TV show, The Plot Against America, and I actually liked it more than I thought. And it gave me an idea for a YouTube series. Uh, I already have a bunch of those. <laughs> I have ideas. I have an idea, man. But no, when I make my movies, which has some weird development this week, I was going to talk about it, but I think I'm going to stop talking about my movie on here and do a proper behind the scenes a featurette and put it on YouTube because why not? And it will probably be on the same channel that I put, well, the last thoughts of a busy mind because they are sort of the same way. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is that um, what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I I had idea. I had an idea for a YouTube series called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly which is the name of my favorite movie and for example we talk about a show or a movie yeah, I want it to be you know free form and all of that but it will be you know doing the saying what did the show do good what did they do bad and just a general analysis the ugly <laughs> and uh, I, I, I'm saying this because uh, the plot against America does some things very good but something's utterly bad. And so I can't really think of a way to, you know, structure that into a scripted episode. So I think, well, why not, you know, take the easy route and just list them. <laughs> Which is not that exciting, but I will make it exciting because I'm an exciting guy. And on recalls. Used to used to sing this song. Uh, <laughs> I'm a nice guy, the best you've ever heard. Um, let me search for the lyrics. It's a good song. I love Don Rickles. I'm a nice guy. Song Don Rickles. They just brought it for me. A polite guy. Na 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 I'm a nice guy. The band says that I'm I'm groovy, but they're all high. They think I'm in a movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Um, for some reason, I think I have like unresolved issues about it, which is kind of understanding. I have unresolved issues about almost everything but this one i know actually why but i want ju i just want someone to talk musicals with you know and i i don't have that one someone that i do have friends who god bless them and i do mean bless them try to take an interest in musicals they have and they talk to me about it and i love you guys for it um uh, but you know someone that actually do listens to musicals and you know when I talk about um, Sweeney Todd uh, Demon Bar of Fleet Street comparing the Tim Burton version to the uh, George Hearn version someone who actually knows what I'm talking about not just saying ah oh, interesting <laughs> I, I need that I need a f I'm not going to say fandom because I don't like fandoms I hate a lot of fandoms including some of the things that i'm fans of i hate the fandom rick and morty for example uh, but i need a circle yeah again 
A social circle. Oh, you all circled back. That's good. Let me take another drink. Yes. That sound of air going out. Out of the out of the bottle, not out of me. That will come later. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I have five minutes left. I've, I'm actually kind of enjoying myself, I think. This should be the last thoughts of a busy mind. Just literally me talking about shit. But for some reason, my brain just wants to structure it into, you know, into, you're going to talk about politics. You're going to talk about this. You're going to talk about your grandfathers. Sit and talk. But, you know, these are... That's not the last thoughts of a busy mind. The last thoughts are not, aren't coherent. They're incoherent. They're this. The people talking about seen it hard. The Judge Hearn version, which is much better. I actually watched a YouTube video recently. I, I did find and watch the 1980 TV movie version of uh, Sweeney Todd, which is a, basically a stage recording for TV, which featured George Hearn, and I loved it, and I do mean I fucking loved it, I think I talk, talked about it before too, I might be wrong, or I might just repeat myself, so I actually watched the bootleg uh, viewing of um, the original Broadway, which had Len Carew instead of George Hearn, and uh, I don't know, I may be biased, my brain may be, be my brain may say, like, uh, you know, because I like George Hearn, everyone should be like that. But I didn't like Len Carrier that much. I know uh, Sondheim basically wrote that uh, role, Sweeney Todd, for him, the same way he wrote uh, Mrs. Lovett for Angela Lansbury. But... I don't know, there's something about George Hearn that I haven't seen in Len Carrier. Maybe it's the charisma, maybe it's maybe it's the fact that George Hearn is actually fucking scary, and I mean it. I saw an older version of him singing with someone else, some other woman. I'm, I'm sorry uh, for being this ignorant, but um, I, I don't, I don't re remember. I didn't love the woman, to be honest. Angela Lansbury was much better, but I saw him, and George Hearn was much older, but... He was still fucking scary. They sing uh, a little priest, you know. Awful lot of fat. Only where it's sat. Haven't you got poet or something like that? Now you say, the problem with poet is how do you know it's deceased? Try the priest. <laughs> I know this song in a weird way. The story of the world, my sweet. Ooh, Mr. Z ooh, Mr. Todd, what does it say? It's who gets eaten and who gets to eat. And Mr. Todd, too, Mr. Todd, who gets to sell. But fortunately, it's all so clear that everybody goes down well with beer. I'm going to sing this song. I had a weird dream, by the way. I have less than a minute left, so... Basically, my do I had a dream that I had a daughter, and my daughter asked me, Daddy, what is your, you and mommy's song? And I said, well, darling, I thought I, it was going to be Spring, Spring, Spring by Johnny Mercer. We tried very much for that to be our song, but it ended up being a little priest. And then me and my wife performed that whole song to a kid. My brain is fucked up. <laughs> but honestly... It may be because it is fucked up, but I think that's actually kind of sweet. I do want to do that. I want to sing a little priest to a kid with my wife. My own kid, preferably. Because then um, I can say it was parenting and not, you know, bothering a kid. <laughs> well, I have 30 seconds left. So, as usual, please do leave a message if you think, on Anchor, if you think that you want to hear your voice on this podcast because I will play it at the beginning of the next episode. And uh, I hope I see you next week, I guess. Yeah. 
and uh, maybe with good news maybe with better news maybe a whole something new yes see you next week